Good afternoon, Daniel. Welcome to Hero Life, everybody. How are we? Really good. Great to be here. How are you, mate? Yeah, doing well, as I am always. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, yeah, just two and a half weeks in, I believe, to uh, baby number two. Sleep is, well, we're getting it where we can. And um, exercise is something that is very much in maintenance phase, but it is still forever present in my life. How about you? Well, love the commitment. Um, yeah, I just had a great weekend. I mean, recovering from the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu session that we did last week. So the body's definitely feeling it, but uh, had a couple of dips into the beautiful Melbourne water, which was freezing and perfect to settle the inflammation and just numb the pain <laughs> and uh, shook out the legs with some 5k runs on Saturday and Sunday and looking forward to getting in for a, a leg session this afternoon. Nice. Love it. Today, I wanted to talk about, uh, and thank you for bringing up the BJJ because that's something that we both kind of tapped into uh, pardon the pun, uh, um, uh, on Friday. And it's great. It's something that's really become uh, becoming a, a part of my weekly routine. And I'm trying to get two sessions in so I can get some real momentum. And it's incredible how much and how much there is to, to learn on the spot when it comes to um, the language of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But the reason I bring that up is because of the ability for my strength, you know, strength and conditioning is something that I've been able to uh, commit to over a really long period of time. But for a lot of people being able to have a structured program, it's, it's a great thing, but it's not something that can, they can truly make their own. And to be able to take all the tools that you have in a strength and conditioning program, like the hero program and apply it to an expression that you can truly make your own. Um, that's, that's, that's an individualized pursuit. And that's something that I'm trying to do. You know, I've always been a competitive athlete. I've played football. I've been a competitive weightlifter. And I know that taking these strength and conditioning pursuits and expressing them through various different modes uh, just adds that extra level. And I suppose the, the, the discussion topic for today is what are you as dads wanting to um, express through your training? Are you going to do it through um, a competitive sport or are you going to even express it through running around with your kids at soccer or football practice and being able to keep up with them uh, and teach them um, you know, uh, things that you used to do, you know, the old expression, the older I get, the better I was back when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful topic. And I mean, just like reflecting on some of the conversations that I have with clients, their passions are for basketball, but it feels like, you know, right now their lifestyle just doesn't give them the opportunity to play um, in the competitive way they once did, but that doesn't mean they can't get a basketball and just dribble around and just play around with their kids or get a basketball ring and put it up at home, but still do things that you love to do, knowing that, you know, you might want to go and play again competitively, but it's just not quite possible right now. But if you start to kind of train as if you're going to start playing, that brings just another element of inspiration and motivation too. And, you know, I find for myself, you know, with this kind of pursuit of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which is still quite new, um, being with the kids early in the morning and doing a lot of like glute work really strengthens me when I'm uh, on the ground. And so I just look at it as in like, if I put some time into that whilst I'm with the kids and I know it's supporting me with the kind of passions I have, then like, it's just a great win-win situation. I think that's how to utilize time in the most effortless and, and powerful ways to do as much you can in such a concentrated environment to support your you know, pursuits and passions. Beautiful. And it's just, it just comes down to that why over and over again, you know, if you can frame everything you do in life to be able to have an, an end goal, a long-term goal, and, and then a, a series of short-term milestones along the way. Um, it just gives you that really tangible motivation to keep on 
getting up every morning, if it means you need to get up, you know, we've got clients that are getting up at 4.30 in the morning to smash it at the gym. And if your, if your why is powerful enough, then, you know, waking up at 4.30 in the morning is going to be effortless. And it's a beautiful thing to be able to do. So bringing it back to, um, you know, a physical pursuit, like and a creative expression, being able to get um, more, uh, you know, uh, complete in Brazilian jiu-jitsu is a really powerful wire for me personally on a, um, you know, on a physical pursuit. But then if you want to take it to, uh, you know, uh, the lifestyle goals that we're doing, uh, that we're, we're able to achieve in um, Hero and being able to guide all of our dads through that, finding out your why for that is going to be a really, really powerful thing. Do you want to be more um, proficient at your job? Do you want to be more attentive with your kids? Do you want to be able to connect, connect on a greater level with your partner? Do you want to have mind-blowing sex with your partner, like all the time? You know, all, all of these types of things are um, things that really are going to be um, things that are going to affect you as we get older. You know, uh, I heard a crazy stat um, about heart disease and, um, you know, more, uh, you know, mortal uh, heart, heart attacks that, that just straight out kill people. The, 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 the first sign of, of a, of a uh, death by heart disease is, is death itself. There are no, there are no warnings, you know, 35% of people that die from a heart attack that's that's it. It just you, you're you're living, you're existing, and everything is just working underneath the surface. So my point being is, if you are able to create all of these um, systematized effects that are going to give you the greatest chance at living the fullest life, um, you know you're going to be there for your kids long into their future. Yeah, well, I mean that's what this is all about: longevity, so you can be there to watch your children grow. So uh, whatever you can do now to help you know, move that along um, feels like a good place to spend some time. And